Wahnsinn. Ja. Before we start this video, I just need to let you know that I need to go see a chiropractor. Because chiropractors are the greatest things ever. If you've never been, it's awesome. I have never go, been. Oh my god, you need to crack your back, click, 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 click. And then they take your neck and do some stuff to it, and click. Oh, I went the other day. Just sounds like what the body's designed for. Hey man, it was awesome. You it know? makes you feel good. It's like one of those yeah. things where it's like, even if it had no medical value whatsoever, I would still go. Just because it makes you feel good for that moment in time. Really? Yeah, I mean, for yeah. some people swear by it, but I... I, I like it. What do we got? What are we talking about? Today on Tools in Action, we're going over something I, I think is actually pretty cool. Uh, they're gas, or not gas power, propane power generators. Um, something valuable to me. Because I don't use, like I've got two generators. I do. I use one for camping, like a small one like this, but it's gas and I use a big one like that for a house emergency. Problem with the house emergency, I either don't have gas or the stuff that's in there, it's old and I can not get the thing started. So, or it destroys your carburetor yeah. and fuel lines because it gums up. Exactly. You don't have that problem with propane, right? No, you do not. No. And that's what I like. Because you can let this thing sit for two, three, four years. You don't have to worry about bad gas in there. And then if you have a power failure, like we're saying, he hasn't had one. How long have you been in this house for? 13, oh, since 07, 06. Okay, and I've been in mine since 03, and I've had one time where the power went out for three years where I really needed a generator, you know, 15 years for me. Yeah, 15 years, one time. And guess what? I didn't have a generator at the time, but I'm sure it would have been bad gas by the time I was sitting in there. So. Yeah, and like Eric said, you know, propane readily available. I mean, I don't know about storms and stuff, but I know, like, these are already sometimes, most of the time, just prepackaged. The 20 pounds? Yeah. Yeah, and you, most people have them in their, if, you know, if you need them in an emergency, most people have them for their grills. You can just grab it right out of their grill. Right, and we ran a compressor off it. This big one down here, obviously it's loud. If you need it quiet, you can yeah. build enclosures for them. Just make sure you ventilate them properly. Um, but yeah, it, but it throws out a lot of power. I think 6,300 watts was this one, Eric? I what believe, yeah. 6,300 warning watts and 78, 75 starting. So that means you have, you know, a big load. It's gonna start it. <laughs> <laughs> and then keep running. Mm -hmm. Funny to Eric. On the front here, you guys, is uh, on the propane powered one, is you have a 30 amp outlet right here for your uh, RV. Also, there's 240. So you can actually probably run a welder off this. Two circuit breakers. And then over here, you have your uh, 120 volt, 20 amp. And they also have GFCI in case you run into any wet conditions or anything like that. And you just switch on the front, you turn it on, and it start. There's a primer button on the side that you're going to hit. If you do not know any of this, instructions are written right across the top of the Which unit. we actually tried starting it without even reading that. Didn't notice that until afterwards. But, right, but Now I got a question. Can you parallel two together? I mean, not necessarily these, but generators can you? Or is it certain only inverters? Generators. Okay. Well, certain inverters, maybe a generator. That's a good question. Comment below, you guys. Can you do it? We're not experts. We're just showing you what we've got out in the field here and what we've been using and the advantage of using propane. We're kind of more on a driveway, not really a field. But. Well, no. But there's also a disadvantage to using propane. You know, if, if you're a contractor and you're running this thing, you know, 18 hours a day, this is going to cost you some money. Well, yeah, because basically your run time here is about five hours at fifty percent. So with a twenty-pound tank. Oh, you knew that? I just make this stuff up as I go along. Wow, well, that sounds pretty. No, good. that I didn't know. With I do know. Fifty-pound tank. Twenty-pound tank. Those are twenty. Five hours on a twenty-hour tank. At fifty percent, yeah. That's actually not too bad. No, but I you mean. You can also pipe this into. But your... what are those things? Those things, do about twenty bucks. That'd be forty day. Forty. Uh, it's twenty dollars to get one of those, right? Forty bucks a day. Forty bucks a day. So actually, I mean, that's kind of expensive compared not to really, gas. Though, when gas comes up to like four or five dollars a gallon, I mean, how much are you gonna get off four gallons? You're gonna be able to get a full day off of four gallons? No, I mean, what's gas now? Three bucks. It's twelve dollars. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah, so it's it's probably around the same operating cost. You guys, you still need to run these outdoors. You cannot run them inside. There's no. No, it's they not still exactly. Commit carbon monoxide you will die uh, great thing about this one is, is you can use these little camping things that you can find at the depot and uh, just super easy and super easy to start this one's quiet so where's the primer Eric right here on the side alright so Eric's gonna hit the primer and we're just gonna go ahead and pull start and that's it it's uh, you turn it off 
It's pretty quiet. I mean, this one, uh, it's usually by the third start, it'll fire up on you. Well, I like this one for camping and tailgating because you're not messing around with gas. You don't have to carry a gas can with you. These things are really inexpensive. You can buy at Wally World pretty cheap, you know. Right, and if you do have access to propane, you're on a, a, a campsite and you have a big propane tank, this thing might be cool to have, you know. Well, know. looks like you can, you can hook this up to yep, a 20 pound. 20 pound. You can hook it up to like a, as big as you want, right? Yeah, but I think when you start going in like 40 pound tanks. Because they put out so much pressure. I think then you got to worry about. Uh, I thought it was how much they were sucking off. Yeah, I don't know. That might be a different channel. But <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys know that. No, I know, yeah. Because, I mean, you know, when we have stuff that really sucks up a lot of propane, it always freezes. With no yeah, filters. it does. Yeah, I think, what was that one we had at DeWalt? Or is it DeWalt where we had to run two 20s no, and split them? we had that big tank out here for a That's while. That's what I'm saying. What was that one for? That because I remember that was a pain. Heater. That was a pain in the butt. Well, it was designed for huge tents. It was a great heater. It, was just it is, but I'm just saying, yeah, like this, I just love these little canisters. You know. Yeah, this is easy for camping, good stuff like that. And like I said, if you want to go with the bigger one, the bigger one, you know, it's going to suck up more fuel, but it's going to run a lot more. You'll be able to run a fridge, AC unit, maybe some power tools at the same time, you know. With this, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's these fumes getting in here. I can just picture just <laughs> nothing. Well, just say it. You can picture what? No, I like how you got AC, <laughs> the fridge. Yeah, you want to run some power tools? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to run. Just yeah, run exactly. Come on. You know what's funny, though, actually? Because I was looking to plug in some stuff there. I went in the garage. Everything is so... It's, everything's corded now. I can't find anything in your garage besides that uh, compressor yeah. where I can plug it in. I'm looking at everything. I'm like, man, remember the days where like you just... A drill was... You plug it in. Yeah, everything you, was a plug-in. Plug yeah, in, everything. You know, remember those days? Yeah. Pretty crazy, you guys. Check it out. Available at the Home Depot. Comment below. Click the subscribe button down there. Obviously, we're not experts talking about generators. Obviously. But, you know, but we're homeowners. No, we're just consumers. consumers. Yeah. Honestly, this is something like, I don't even pitch, maybe it is designed for the job site. I picture this more as a consumer. Like, perfectly, I would use this as a backup for my power going out because at my fridge, I know what it was like, how much money we lost when the, uh, our power went out. And this is perfect for, we go camping a lot, we do tail, we're not tailgating as much, but camping, I like the rely, I agree. I like the reliability yeah. factor of yeah. having the propane. I know I don't have to mess with it. You guys, just the other day, the I'm not going to mention the brand, pain, man. but I'm hating gas, okay? And I don't mean that in a bad way, because some gas stuff is good, but I was using the pressure rod. Oh, Dan, day. you're going to go crazy. I lost my mic. Now you're going to have one high channel and one low channel. Are you serious? Yeah. How long was it? I think the whole day. No, I don't know. Where was it? Right down here. Oh my god, Eric. I know. We gotta start over. No way, dude. I don't know how long you're gonna have to listen to it. You can adjust the channels, can't you? No, that's the problem. Yeah, you, you got it, dude. You can do anything. Alright, well this video got ruined. You guys, check yes. it out at Home Depot. Uh, what do you guys think of this stuff? Ryobi, obviously, um, you know, it's probably made overseas. But, you know, what isn't these days? But you really have a good thing with Royal Beef because you can always take it back to the depot. You have a problem. You know, you go, you get this thing within like a couple of weeks. If it's not working or whatever their return period is. I don't know. We've always had all the stuff, all the Royal Beef generators we've done over the years. Though, we've always had good, they've always been reliable for us. You know? Yeah, I agree. I agree. I've had nothing but good luck with Royal Beef. And even if I went with like a, you know, a different manufacturer. I don't know who else makes these things these days. But even Generac, the engines are probably made overseas also and you know maybe generic makes this who knows there's just it's a very tight close community and these days they understand that it's reliability that you're looking for and that's what they're pumping into these units why right, back in the day it wasn't reliable what were they looking for back in the day yeah i don't know just pump out cheap <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. you guys check it out. for more exciting tool action go to toolsinaction.com